to the Big Biz Show, featuring insight, analysis, and a lot of stuff that's none of your business. Uh, hold on. This is the Big Biz Show. I think it is their business. Making the markets work for you. Here's the man with the plan, Sully. Live from the Loft 100 Studios in sunny San Diego, California. Big Mitch on the air. Sully here, Costa there, our executive producer, Greg Tottero. Hello. I have no idea what he does. And of course, <laughs> the day trader, Quattro. Guys, give me something. Three, two, four. Whoa. Wait a minute. Whoa. Wait a minute. Yeah. Minds are blown. Tight. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. One, two, three. I cannot teach that. That is unbelievable. That's tight as it gets right there. The only thing we're missing <laughs> is costing with a couple finger pistols. <laughs> <laughs> and some really you. short shorts. Okay. And a mustache. And of a mustache. All, of all the people in the studio here, Day Trader Quattro, Totter Off, myself, you, uh, JB, the, all the guys in the control room, um, who was the last guy to do finger pistols? <laughs> <laughs> like, no. No, dude, you have. Okay, Jared, Jared. Has anybody in the control room done finger pistols in the last year? Anybody? Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. When he was getting his hair feathered. Um, what about the yeah. band? Has anybody in the band does finger pistols? No. 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 I did a real pistol uh, Thursday night. There you go. That's fun. Hey. Is is does it matter if it's single? Like just hey. That's gotcha. scary because you know <laughs> what? The single pistol <laughs> could be confused. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do let's do finger pistols, not single pistols. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, um, uh, our good friend, um, our good friend, um, um, Mr. John Miller. Yes, but I want to I want to explain. John Miller is one of the most creative guys in the country. Okay, uh, he handled all of the marketing, creative, uh, advertising for several companies. Of course, uh, XXII, which is the 22nd century, mm -hmm. uh, is his latest uh, stint. We thought we would get John Miller uh, in, uh, in 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 the at the show. I'd like to get him in the studio. Of course, him and Jim Mish have created this unbelievable company that is helping people smoke less. Um, you don't hear anybody talk about combustible cigarettes very much anymore, right? Mm -mm. Or we just don't do it, right? Um, however, the FDA has designated on their label that they have to say, helps you smoke less. Let's talk about the addressable market here. Military, all of Mike's friends in Mira Mesa Bowl. Um, like, there, there's a huge <laughs> addressable market here because people are still smoking. Long story short, they have created an, a, a, a bio-agricultural company with reduced nicotine content cigarettes, and here to talk about that is John Will. John, how are you, sir? Good to see you, pal. Hey, man. Hey, Sully, how you doing today? Great to see you. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I had Conan O'Brien on here with us. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, love, your, <laughs> love your work, man. Love it, Frank. Uh, hey, listen, you have, you have a great background in marketing and advertising, and this is a tough one, because <laughs> suddenly, you're in a space that doesn't allow you to, to promote on a, a television, um, like in other words, we can't say uh, a 30 second spot with you know Mike mm -hmm. blasting cigarettes up behind the 7-Eleven. Like you can't have that commercial. Yep. You're not allowed to advertise on, uh, in magazines, I don't believe. Yet you have a responsibility as a public company to get the word out, and you guys are doing it. So talk about that. That's a challenge. Well, you're absolutely right, Sully. You know, on the first point you made about it being a big addressable market, because there are still 35 million people, believe it or not, in the United States who still smoke. You know, the size of the category is still amazing. Uh, when you think about all the research that's been done, all the warning labels, all the different uh, nicotine replacement therapies, all the programming, uh, there's still 35 million people and 180 billion cigarettes sold in the United States. Um, sure, we can't do TV and radio, but you know what? When we have guys like you out here talking about this, we know there's a latent demand for the 60 to 70 percent of the people who want to quit smoking, and that's what our product VLN is all about. So uh, VLN, I was gonna say, is that that reduced nicotine content cigarette is what's helping people find a path off of cigarettes. So, so here's some anecdotal information and also research information. People that are trying to quit smoking put on a patch sometimes. Sometimes they go to a, 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 you know some sort of program. Hypnotism, maybe. So, yeah. Mike. Right. And, and by the way, I want to be careful about anecdotal stories, but there's tons of research behind this, otherwise the FDA wouldn't get behind it. Give me your anecdotal, anecdotal story about your friend. Well, somebody who, in, in my family, uh, uh, John, and, and they, 
when I first started the show with Sully, they reached out and I said, hey, listen, we, this, this company is with us and it's basically 95% less nicotine than a normal cigarette. They started smoking and now all they do is smoke uh, your product. And so I'm living proof through this person, family member of mine, that it absolutely 100% works. So I, again, I can never say thank wow. you enough uh, great. Uh, you, to you and your company. But the other thing, didn't you say that when they were smoking this, they couldn't tell the difference? They could not tell the difference. And I said, be honest with me, because if it, if it tastes disgusting or whatever the case may be, I'll go back to them and tell them. And he said, cannot tell the difference. Yeah. I'm still trying yeah, to not it. surprised. I mean, it, it, it's a great story because, it, you know, VLN, the product looks, feels, smells, tastes like a regular cigarette yep. because it's grown from a tobacco plant that our company, which is a really a next generation plant biotech company, yeah. they learned how to grow tobacco plants with no nicotine or excuse me, very little nicotine. And, there, and there's the graph so, I always like to look at. Yeah, remember, yeah, remember seeing those yeah, things in the exactly. magazines? Like the next the best graph now? ever. Yeah. And then suddenly it's like, oops, that's that spot in the corner. Yeah, that's VLN. <laughs> hey, let's talk about the company yeah. because you guys have made significant um, inroads with uh, states because this is not just about shipping Gatorade to the next 7-Eleven. Uh, obviously, you yeah. are dealing with government agencies as well as, uh, as, well as uh, obviously getting uh, the states to agree. Talk about that journey and how you guys have been doing. Sure. So in addition to the federal regulations, as you had mentioned, right, we have a modified risk tobacco product designation from the FDA, the only combustible cigarette that has that. Uh, VLN is also now available in 48 of the 50 states. Uh, we're staying away right now from Alaska and Hawaii, but continent, the continental United States, we have authorization. Um, so we're seeing more and more people learning about the product uh, we're getting more and more of the retailers to take the product. We'll be in, we're in 16 states as of the end of next month. Wow. Uh, we'll, our goal is to be in 18 states by the end of this year. Uh, we're going to hit that goal. Uh, we've got great retailers, like you just mentioned, 7-Eleven. Uh, we have Circle K. Wow. Uh, we've got some big pharmacy and uh, drugstore chains coming on board with us as well. Uh, this is a revolutionary product. Um, it's, a pro it's the only product that meets uh, smokers where they are. Yeah. You know, if you're a smoker and you've been smoking a long time and you know you want to get nicotine out of your life, a patch probably isn't going to do it. Gum doesn't represent what you've yeah. been doing. Mm -hmm. We meet smokers where they are and they understand this product and they understand why it works. Well, that's and that's why we're getting the results. That's, yeah, I was going to say that story I just heard, you know, about that's what we're seeing. We're seeing family members buy this product for other family members. It's not just smokers buying it for themselves. Well, it's, the, it's, an, it's an incredible story. And the business model side, it's all about distribution, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's great to know, they're, they're, you said Costco and 7-Eleven, where me and Greg Tarter are both by our wine and our suits. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. it's easy. Kirkland. But, but, here, but my question is this, Beautiful. how tough was that road, John? Because you're the guy. How tough was that to make that phone call and say, hey, Mr. Southland Corporation, we have an idea for you. This is not a vape. This is not Juul. This is not this is a real thing. How long was that was that road? Sure. Well, the VLN story is counterintuitive, right? It, you know, when you see a, a cigarette product that has on every pack helps you smoke less, 95% oh. less nicotine. People are a little confused by it, but as they start to understand this, they get the point. And then when you look at retailers, like smoker-friendly stores in Denver or 7-Eleven or Circle K, they start saying, you know, my shoppers are much more important to me and actually more valuable to me if they're healthy, if they're living a healthy lifestyle. Uh, smoking on average, you know, reduces people's lifespan by 11 years. You know, VLN helps stop that. You know, it helps retailers, you know, in a way that wouldn't you like to have your shoppers here yeah. for another 11 years? They see the benefit. They see the economic benefit of having a product like this. I've seen that. But it's, it is. You're right, though. It's, it's a challenge. I've seen that stat before, um, reducing your life by 11 years. I think so does marriage, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, um, so my, my, my question for you is what's next for, for, what's next for XXII? XXII is their stock symbol. Two X's, two I's, 22nd Century Corporation. What are you most looking forward to for the next, let's say, six months? Continuing to get the story out, we know that the path of the consumer is, you know, awareness, education, and trial. And once we get the uh, consumer to the trial stage, the adult consumer tries VLN, and then they talk about it, just no. like the story we just heard. You know, people will share the success of this. Uh, because this product is so familiar and then so effective, we know that advocacy is going to play an important role. No. We have an influencer program which is starting up, you know, and it's, it's been amazing that people have wanted to get involved with this brand. No. And that's going to continue. Uh, you know, on the on the commercial side, you know, we have we have we have retailers who are going to be more and more involved. 
more and more states. I also think within states like California, who have already passed, you know, menthol bans, uh, yeah. flavored nicotine bans, a state like California could conceivably pass a low nicotine mandate. Oh, I That's coming say, I from the FDA. Say, I thought you were going to say fall into the ocean, but you're right. Also, it could pass all no, or nicotine. Do that. <laughs> nicotine well, uh, remember, I also live in Orange County. I so know I don't you do. See John. That <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, listen, we got to get you down to the studio. This is a great. This is a great story. It has been for a while, and we're, and we're happy to say we'll be covering it for a while. But I, I can't wait until you guys deploy the military. John, thanks, buddy. John Miller. Interim CEO and president of the tobacco division of 22nd Century Group. Stock symbol XXII. You can go to XXIICentury.com. Barbie Biz coming up soon.